I went to art school because I knew, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew that it would be in the creative fields. I left with this sort of skill set and this love of creating things and working with my hands and my mind, and that was very much the difference between uni and just going and doing a little painting course or something, is that ability to solve problems. The skills from having a fine art degree have really enabled me to approach things in a very broad way, whether it's a logo or it's a label or it's an installation or even, you know, a suite of uniforms. The art filters through that in different ways. Some of it's more like a fine art piece and some of it becomes a very graphic design piece. When I was at art school, we used to think, oh, you know, we'll never sell out, we'll, we'll just do our thing and be true to ourselves. And, you know, a lot of people do do that and they do well out of it, but not everyone. And I find it sometimes much easier to work with a brief than to actually just put myself out there. And that definitely was a comfort zone in the early days. Now that I've got a far more established career, I find that I'm leaning far more towards the, the old fine art days. Just in the last five years, I've used more fine art technique in my work than in the first 10 years of my graphic design career. Cascade Female Factory was probably one of the major installations. It's such an amazing thing to work on because we were telling such a significant story of pretty much an untold history. So hugely proud of that one. But then at the same time, the change in label took Devil's Corner to the number one selling Pinot in Australia. So that was a, an amazing achievement to come out of like a tiny little studio. Each job has its own area of, you know, amazement and excitement and pride for me. And it's in the blood. It's just, yeah, do love it.